The selections are in for week two. Uh, week one was a great week. It was a week of favorites. Week two was a up and down week. There was quite a, uh, it, it, as they say, there was a lot of underdogs that one. So um, it's any given Sunday in the NFL. It's, oh, the Browns look like garbage, but then they beat the Jaguars. So these kind of things uh, happen very regularly. Um, in the 10 days of rest or whatever, didn't matter for the Eagles. They lost against the Falcons. Uh, so these kind of things happen every week. Uh, with that being said, let's get into it. The Jets are going to beat the Patriots. The Patriots can fall to one and two with that, the first year without either Belichick or Tom Brady. They're coming off of a game against Seattle. They didn't play at the 12th man at Seattle, but Seattle's known for the 12th man. Just wanted to bring that up. Aaron Rodgers going to win his 12th game on Thursday to improve the 12 and six on Thursday night football. The Super Bowl is at New Orleans. So Aaron Rodgers is going to get the win at home against the Patriots. And are the Patriots going to start that rookie kid from uh, North Carolina so they may start to lose games? For this game, it's Dear Carr, Dear Carr, he's rejuvenated. Carr and Eagles have come out to 22, so is Derek Carr going to have another statement game? He probably is. Derek Carr is going to beat the Eagles. The NFC East is, is, is a huge clusterfuck. The Eagles will lose. I, th I think the Commanders can have a chance to play for first place in the NFC East on the Monday Night Football against Joe Burrow. That's probably what the script is going to be that, uh, that week. So I'm going to go uh, Derek Carr for the win. The Saints, plus the Saints are, are the red-hot team. The, how can you go against the red hot hand? The bottom line, I like the Saints to win the game. Jim Harbaugh and the Chargers against the Steelers. Whoever loses falls to two and one. Justin Fields, Justin Herbert, Justin Gamacho, twenty-one. San Francisco and Kansas City is under twenty-two and fifty. Jim Harbaugh's last loss as an NFL coach came while well with San Francisco, and he could lose his first game against the Kansas City Chiefs. So I like the Chargers to start three and zero. Jim Harbaugh's nineteen regular season losses as a head coach in the Chiefs just won the first repeat in nineteen years. So I like the Chargers to get the win over the Steelers. The Steelers are not playing the trash Broncos. They're not playing. Um, in the Atlanta Falcons, who are still learning under a new offense. I am a Cardinals fan. I'm definitely open. we beat the Lions, but I think realistically, I think the Lions are going to win. Uh, Jared Goff can win his 51st game in the regular season against the NFC. The Cardinals is Gamancha 51. The Lions are coming off of game at Tampa. And Jared Goff faced the Cardinals many times while he was a member of the Rams. So I think that's very significant. Goff enters with an 8-1 record against the Cardinals. It's Cardinals, that's 81. And Jared Goff is now on Detroit. Detroit is Gamancha 91. So I'll go Jared Goff for the win again over the Cardinals. A bounce-back game. For the Lions, but hopefully the Cardinals win. If the, if the Cardinals don't, then I'm not giving up on the Lions the way they the NFC. But any given week, I think the Lions respond. And for the record, the Cardinals are, are going to beat the Washington football team the very next week at home. And I think with the injuries to the 49ers, I think the Cardinals are going to surprise the 49ers. And the 49ers, uh, the Cardinals will be three and two after the 49ers game because Chiefs is 32. So. Cardinals going to upset the 49ers, but they lose against the Lions. The 49ers are dealing with injury problems to Christian McCaffrey and Debo Samuel. This is a formula that will help the Cardinals against the 49ers October 6th. Uh, the Cowboys and the Ravens, Tom Brady broadcasted both of the Cowboy games. He's number 12. Cowboys fought a 1-2. and two. Ravens improved the 1-2. and two. First win of the season for the Ravens. Joe Flacco won the Super Bowl 12 years ago for the Ravens. Joe is 30-12 and 12 in Gamatria. Cowboys is Gamatria 30. Lamar is Gamatria of New Orleans, the side of the Super Bowl in Dallas. Or, excuse me, that's Gamatria of the Cowboys. So Lamar Jackson and, and the Cowboys. And Lamar and Derrick Henry, the Cowboys are a very soft team 
defending the run. So the Ravens are going to destroy the Cowboys. They're going to prove the 6-1 against Dallas. Louisiana is going to 61. The Giants and the Browns. I didn't see many numbers, but this is the end of Daniel Jones. This may be the end of Brian Dable. And the Cleveland Browns are going to get the win. The Browns and the Steelers are Tied on top of the division with the 2-1 and record. The Titans and the Packers, Matt LaFleur, without Jordan Love, Matt LaFleur was offensive coordinator of the Titans before he became Packers coach. But the son of Bill Callahan, Brian Callahan, the, the Titans played the Jets very competitively. They played competitively on the road against the Bears. The Packers are not going to win every week without Jordan Love, let's be real. I think the Titans are going to win the game. Brian Callahan equals 84 in reverse commentary. He can get his first win as NFL coach against the Green Bay Packers. So I go with the Tennessee Titans to win against the Green Bay Packers. The Texans and the Vikings, in a couple of weeks, the Texans face off against the Bills. And I think people, which would make the AFC very interesting, is if we start talking about the Texans as a contender in the AFC. And, you know, after... Two weeks, you talk about 2-0, and oh, it's like, who's a contender, who's a pretender? The bottom line, I think Jefferson got hurt. Uh, they are without Sam. Uh, Sam Darnold's not going to win every week, let's be real. The Texans are going to start 3-0. and oh. The Denver Donkeys are a terrible trash team. Bacon Mayfield gets the win. David Tebbert's a, a terrible owner. Uh, Bryce Young is a scapegoat. It doesn't matter who's quarterback for the Panthers. The Raiders are one of the most physical teams in the NFL. They're going to punch you in the mouth, and they're going to destroy the Carolina Panthers. Bill Lee, good offensive line. Dalton's 52nd loss against the um, AFC Raiders is 52. In reverse, the Dolphins against the Seahawks. The bottom line is the Dolphins without Tua are absolutely screwed. And Geno Smith is decent. And their wide receiver, Metcalf, is decent. So they're going to lose the uh, next week. Uh, Bears and the Colts. The Colts are too good to be 0 and 3. Anthony Richardson is uh, 91 in reverse. I think Chicago Bears is 91. So again, the theory was Richardson could get his first win since his injury because Lambeau's Gamacha 55. But it is true that Chicago Bears is 55, and uh, Chicago Bears 91 is Gamacha. Just we see more with Anthony Richardson with the Bears compared to the Packers. Anthony Richardson in reverse is 91. Uh, he gets his first win since his injury against the Chicago Bears. Um, the Chiefs are not going to lose against the Falcons. Kirk Cousins, 2-0 and on primetime, just the world would be upside down. Joe Burrow is going to beat the Commanders, improve the 1-2, and two. the Bengals and Ravens both will win. Joe's Gamachi 12, Joe Flacco, uh, Joe Burrow, so Bengals get the win right there. Ravens going to destroy the Cowboys. You have to sell the 49ers. 49ers going to beat the Rams. This is this is the end of Sam Darnold. 49ers, it's another home game at L.A. 49ers going to beat the Rams. I'm not giving the Rams a chance. They got completely destroyed by the Cardinals. This team is broken, beaten, and, and, and scarred right now, the L.A. Rams. L.A. has terrible fans. They're not even interested after last week. Forget about the Rams. Kirk Cousins is terrible on prime time. On top of it being the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, Andy Reid has 58 losses as the Chiefs coach. He could enter with 58. 
losses as Chiefs coach against the Chargers. So I don't see a 59th loss at Atlanta, Georgia because they're they're on the road. The Chargers is 59 in reverse. The Chargers is 58. So I think the Chiefs, Andy Reid, is going to enter uh, next week with 58 total losses as the coach of the Chiefs. If this end, ends up being a, a day where favorites win, then this will be an upset. I would stay away from this game until we get the, get a feeling of the direction of the, the week. Um, we will see about this one. I, I'm going Chiefs, though. Uh, Jaguars, Bills, can the Jaguars really st start 0-3? Now, what's interesting about the Jags, even if they uh, start 0-3, they have the potential to get two wins in the division, and they could be 3-3 three and three against the Bears. If the Jaguars lose against the Bills, I think they're going to start to run the table. The Packers are not good. The Patriots are not good. So the potential is still there for the Jaguars to run the table. Um, for now, I, I, I will go uh, with the Buffalo Bills. And now let's go to... Uh, um, to uh, Peterson of the Jags. So, so at some point, Trevor Lawrence is going to show exactly why he's a big money extension guy. Sixty wins. The Buffalo Bills is sixty. A sixty-six win. For Doug Peterson against Houston Texans. Houston Texans is 66. So I am going to go with the Bills. But it's not time to panic about the Jaguars. Even uh, after the end of this week. Now these are the selections for, for, for week three. With a little bit of what we can look ahead for the following weeks. 